One sound is plaguing pubs and restaurants in the south of Scotland. It's the sound of silence. The country is three weeks into a ban on all background music in hospitality venues and it's starting to hurt. It's quieter, um, not just because we don't have background music but because we've got fewer customers, definitely. I don't think from a spreading the virus perspective that background music ban is, is, is having any positive impact. If people are trying to have a private conversation, they're having to lean in. And the people who have loud, shouty voices are, are, are loud and shouty whether there's background music on or not. I think like most pubs, we're probably hanging on by our fingernails until the situation changes, and that could be another year. Um, so all of these little things make a difference. The rule is in place so that people don't have to lean in to be heard. The Scottish Government says there's an increased risk of COVID transmission when people raise their voices. But pubs and restaurants are already trying to entice people back and they have to offer something a little bit different to drinking at home in order to justify paying that little bit more. But when the music disappeared, so did the atmosphere and the customers followed. The general consensus is we are all struggling. I mean, it's, um, it's a different place now. The social aspect of the pub should be come in socially, have a wee bit of music, have a wee bit of chat, speak to your licensee and enjoy yourself. It's um, a lot of people are just not bothering coming in now. That's already had a devastating impact on the Crown in Lockerbie. It's had to close after customer numbers plummeted in the wake of the ban. Personally for me in here, this is it's heartbreaking, it really is. Uh, not just for me, uh, from a staff have given everything that they have in here as well. They've done everything, they've stuck by us you know, through the lockdown, um, they've stuck by us whenever we reopened again, and for them now it's just, it's, it's a sorry, sorry pain for them, it really is. Stephen wants to see the ban overturned, as he believes people are mixing at home where safety measures aren't in place. You know, they've driven people away from well-controlled pubs, hotels, restaurants where we do everything they ask on the guidelines to uncontrolled parties where there's no traceability. And we're seeing it. We're seeing people booking bands for back gardens. And now they're, you know, we've got people heading down to Carlisle from Dumfries, Annan, Lockerbie, and then come down to Carlisle for the atmosphere. The ban also means TVs have to be on mute. Brian has started an online petition backed by acoustic experts who claim music at a low level is safe. Playing music uh, at a quiet level isn't necessarily going to lead to people shouting and, and transmitting the virus. You know, having spoken to leading ac acousticians and, and experts in this area, you know, it's not based on any kind of concrete science and there's ways around it that doesn't just lead to an all-out ban. The campaign is calling for background music to be allowed at a level of 70 decibels. The Scottish Government says they'll continue to monitor the situation and update guidance based on the best public health advice. But for now, the music must be off, no matter the cost. Lewis Warner, ITV News, Dumfries.